Mm -hmm. <sighs> I mean, in a mint. What's up, YouTube? This is my very first vlog. Get ready for a cringeworthy episode. Basically, what I want to go over in this episode is women and what people think or really expect of them versus what women are actually like in reality. Okay, so I'm going to start with an easy one. I just want to shove this one out of the way. And obviously, there are those exceptions and stuff where this doesn't come into play, but... This is a biggie to me, and so maybe you might disagree, but that's why we're here. <laughs> um, the idea that... Oh, <laughs> uh, try again? So, <laughs> the idea that women are always emotional. I mean... I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to me and my emotions, when I'm in public, I try to be as professional as I can, and I don't let anybody know if I'm sad or angry or whatever, regardless of what is going on, because I don't like when people see all of that emotion. What's the point? So that people can talk to me that I don't know? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. If I'm emotional in front of you, I must really, really trust you, or I just can't hold it in. This brings me to, like, fact number one. Guys are way more emotional, at least the guys I've come across, way more emotional than any of the women I know. I don't know why that is, and obviously there's going to be some exceptions where guys are just like, no, 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 I'm cool. And they actually are. But the majority of the guys I've come across, no. They are super, super over-emotional. Okay, number two. Just because a woman may be in a dress or a skirt, a blouse, doesn't mean she's doing it for anybody she could just feel like wearing something of the sort one day i remember going to school and because i usually wore sweatpants or jeans one day i decided hey it'd be nice to wear a dress so i did i wore a dress to school and you know what happened this one guy he walks up to me and this is what he says hey alicia you look really nice today Oh, uh, you have an event? Nope, I just felt like wearing a dress. Cause you know, usually you don't dress up all nice and stuff. You just you're cool with just bumming it. I mean, come on, I knew I didn't dress up fancy already, but really, you gotta bring it up kind of like that, especially when I'm trying to feel really like fly that day too. You know. Thing that bothers me is that people see advertisements of women like an Abercrombie or Victoria's Secret and they decide that women obviously must always want to look like what they term as a slut. First of all, I would like to point out that the women in these ads and pictures and stuff they are not sluts or whores or whatever you want to call them because this is their profession. They get paid to take pictures professionally advertising these clothes or whatever. Secondly, why is a woman considered a slut when they just want nice clothing? I don't understand what the problem is. You see a nice bra and you want it? That doesn't make you a slut. That means you want a cute bra. Maybe it's got, you know, blue little frilly things on it. If you want blue little frilly things on your bra, you go to Victoria's Secret and you get that bra with the blue little frilly thingies on it. If you want some shorts that kind of look like cutoffs or whatever, 
then go get the shorts with the cutoffs. I will acknowledge that yes, some girls who want a bra with blue little frilly things and want cut off shorts are trying to look a little bit skanky, as you would call it, or slutty, or whorish, or whatever. This does not mean that all women are trying to do that. Like I said, there are exceptions, but why do we have to use this terminology in order to classify all women? I actually want to point out something that specifically goes to my school, too. Why do you guys have to do this thing that is so degrading to women, where you put on what is known as CMA goggles. Oh, but there's a little population of women at this school, but that does not give you the right to say that you're lowering your expectations in order to find a girl here. What is wrong with you? Quickly, I want to go back to the fact that women are not emotional wrecks, but men tend to be. So, one of my best friends actually told me about this guy that she was talking to for a while, but then all of a sudden they stopped talking because he just didn't reply one day. And I don't know what happened. And she didn't know what happened, so she's very persistent, and she tries to get all the information she can, when all of a sudden her friend, not just someone she's interested in, but her friend, isn't reactive at all. And he's just so, so, so depressed, and she couldn't do anything about it. There's my other best friend who was talking to this one guy, and then he moved, and, like, throughout the whole time of their talking and everything, you know, some days, it would be fantastic, and then all of a sudden, he would just switch, and she would have to, like, make sure that he was okay, so he wouldn't do anything stupid to himself. And behold, there's me. And my own personal dealings of these people, okay? There have been a multitude of guys that are just my friends who have liked me. And I feel really bad because I, you know, didn't feel the same. And I made that very, very clear to them. But that's always better. If your guy friend likes you and you don't know what to do, because you don't like him, make sure he knows that you just don't like him. But don't just be like, hey, I hate you. So it's never going to happen because you want that friendship. They are very nice guys, usually. So I guess I should explain what some of these guys kind of acted like in order for you guys to get the idea. Basically, I will tell you a story of two specific guys that definitely liked me for a little while and things just went a little bit awry in a few areas that I just wish had not happened. First guy, this happened my sophomore year where I got asked to homecoming by this guy that um, I was starting to sort of become friends with, uh, I had a big group, and he was just this guy, I didn't really talk to that much, but we were friends. We had a homecoming, and it was the first time I had ever been asked to dance before. So, I was wondering, should I go with this guy, I don't really know him that well, but he's really nice, you know, just go as a friend, you know, and it wouldn't be a big deal. So I told him I would think about it. Then the next day... He came to me, and he bent on a knee, and he brought me a chocolate rose and asked me again, and I couldn't say no because that would be really, really rude. 
But I felt so awkward when that had happened. But in my head, I calmed down. I was like, forget about it. It's no big deal. Just make sure he knows that you two are going as just friends. Know, and I let others know so that he would definitely know that we were just going as friends and I wanted nothing more than that. At the point, he knew that we were just going as friends. So we get to the dance and me and my friends are hanging out. Me and him are hanging out with some of our friends that we both know. And what happens is... <laughs> we're just hanging out and some of my friends want to dance with me just by myself that's normal I'm used to that I'm used to that it was kind of rude when I went off like twice with them but he knew that I was with them and so for him to get angry was a little bit offbeat but at least he didn't like actually show that he was angry angry towards me but the real cherry on top for this was the fact that he actually took me away from my friends so that he could just dance with me. Um, and by the end of the night, he actually did the one thing I did not want to happen. He asked me if I would ever consider going out with him. And I immediately told him, I'm sorry, I just don't feel that way about you. Plus, I do not want a boyfriend at the moment, like I have said plenty of times before. I'm sorry. He, uh, he didn't exactly get it. I wish this had not happened, but it did. And, um, when I rejected him, he got on his knees and I immediately told him to get back up. But he proceeded to beg for me to give him a chance, and I felt so bad. Then I was the one who was going to drop him off back at his place, but he would not get in the car, and after five minutes of trying to get him into the car and him still rejecting the car, we had to drive away because he was not going to get in the car with me. Okay, that leads to number two. <laughs> um, so, there was this other guy, and he was a closer guy friend of mine. Um, he liked me, and it actually happened junior year. He asked me to a dance. Uh, at the end, he knew we were just going as friends. At the end of the night, he asked me to go out with him, even though he knew as well that I did not want a boyfriend, and I did not feel that way about him. He took it very well. And we, we were still friends right after that. Me and the other guy before him, not so much. No, no. Anyways, back to junior year. So he took it very well. And later on throughout the year, uh, I figure out actually that he had gotten another girlfriend. So I was like, oh, thank God he's officially over me. If that turned out to be the case, well, they broke up later on. Um, and... I didn't notice really until like the middle of senior year that, oh, he's been acting this way towards me still, and he has not gotten over me at all. And then by the end of senior year, in my yearbook, he kind of confessed his love for me. And I felt so bad because every time someone, like, writes in my yearbook, right then and there, I would read it. Unless they specifically told me, don't read it right now. Wait until the end of the year. And then I would tell them that I was going to wait until the end of the year, but then I would just read it when they were gone. Oops. <laughs> he professed his love to me in my yearbook, and I read it, like, right in front of him. And I was like, I, I just had the yearbook up in my face so that I could have time to react and figure out what to say. Literally could not think of anything to say because I didn't want to embarrass him and be like, oh, or oh. But I also didn't want to be like, oh. <laughs> because 
because I just, I didn't know how to react. Finally, my final reaction, it was actually this. It was, it was like me, let me just get this book real quick. It was me, and I was like this, and I said, thank you. I do not know how bad that response is, <laughs> but <laughs> I felt so bad, and his reaction to my reply was probably the saddest thing I've ever seen, and he was like, hmm. Like, he knew that I knew what was going on, but he also knew that that would be my reaction. I don't know what it is about guys expecting girls to be these emotional wrecks, because, like I said, and as you can see from all these stories, these guys are very much, very much helping women reject these social norms of them being emotional wrecks or sluts or anything of the sort that's like that. I don't know. Any girly thing. I don't even know what that means, girly. Women are so much more. Now, I don't know if any of that got into what this video is titled at all but I feel like it does because like all these expectations of what women are actually like presumably like are just they're not they're not true so uh, anyways that's all I got for you guys tonight so boy